Aloha, it's Kianika Yav Yav, and here today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. Football fans, the 2024 Football Fever Contest is here. Pick up a copy of the Star Advertiser and submit your picks by Friday to meet or beat the score of the winning panelist each week. Play each week for a chance to win $500. At the end of the season, one lucky grand prize winner will win a trip for two anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. Special thanks to our Football Fever sponsors, Hawaiian Telecom, Long's Drugs, and Alaska Airlines. Don't miss out on the action. Join the Football Fever Contest weekly for your chance to win. Over 1,800 unionized workers at the Hilton Hawaiian Village Waikiki Beach Resort went on an open-ended strike today, joining thousands of hotel workers across the U.S. The workers, represented by Unite Here Local 5, are demanding higher wages, better staffing, and the reversal of pandemic-related service cuts. This follows a three-day strike over Labor Day weekend. Union leaders say the workers are committed to staying on strike until their demands are met highlighting the financial struggles of local families despite record hotel profits. A tragic accident in Pupukea this morning left a 70-year-old woman dead and another pedestrian injured after being struck by a vehicle. Honolulu police say a juvenile driver lost control on Kamehameha Highway, veering off the road and hitting the two women. The 7-year-old was pronounced dead at the scene, while the 68-year-old sustained minor injuries and refused treatment. The driver was uninjured and police say speed, drugs, and alcohol are not believed to be factors. This is Oahu's 33rd traffic fatality this year. A Kauai man has agreed to plead guilty to charges related to the sexual assault of two Hawaiian Airlines flight attendants during a flight in March 2022. Carrie Hayes, 58, faces up to 20 years in federal prison after pleading guilty to interference with flight crew members and simple assault. In exchange, other charges will be dropped. Hayes allegedly inappropriately touched two flight attendants during the Honolulu to Lehu'e flight. He remains free on a $50,000 bond and will be sentenced by January 13. Honolulu City Council Budget Committee is reviewing a proposal to reallocate $5 million in federal COVID-19 funds to cover post-employment benefits. The funds, originally part of the American Rescue Plan Act, were unused from previous projects. City officials aim to utilize these funds before the December 2024 deadline. Meanwhile, union negotiations continue over unpaid pandemic hazard pay for city workers, with a recent arbitration ruling in favor of affected employees. Hawaiian Electric Industries, HEI, plans to raise up to $825 million through stock sales, partly to fund a settlement over the 2023 Maui wildfire disaster. The company announced it will sell $500 million in new stock, with underwriters having the option to buy an additional $75 million. This comes after a recent plan to raise $250 million. HEI is contributing nearly $2 billion toward a $4 billion settlement, for over 650 lawsuits related to the fires. Shares have seen significant fluctuations since the fire in Lahaina. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.